and get you back on the map. We are right about where the tip of that pencil is. To the left of the pencil tip is the Hoch Eversberg, and then Hill 401. Now says 412, but uh, back then it was 401. Is then to the right, and the saddle here between those two hills is where uh, G Company was, according to the information I have. I look back up towards the Eversberg there. See back behind those trees as the trees get thicker. That's where those rocks were that I showed you a little bit earlier. And then we've come down a little bit farther towards the uh, direction of Hill 401, which is now Hill 412. Uh, we found some positions here. The forestry people have been pretty busy uh, filling in place the holes with uh, branches and uh, sticks and everything else in order to try and fill them back up and leaves. This one here is full of water, you can see. But, uh, and I mentioned the, the fence earlier. You can see that a part of this is uh, fenced in, and they've got uh, young trees in there. It looks like they're trying to recultivate that with a different type of tree. Uh, again, nice view out across the valley from up here. And then you can see, I'm going to walk over here a little bit, and you can look out towards Hill 401 or Hill 412 today. And you can see that between these two hills, there's this open area here right now. Um, according to the map, uh, right now this is supposed to be wooded. This isn't really shown on the maps. And I don't know if it was present at the time, whether this was all open or not, or whether this has uh, you know, been done recently. Um, I've got another map I need to take a look at it. But I know that with trees, it's not always open. Uh, easy to, I mean, you can cut them down, they grow back. Um, so, it, and maps change uh, very slowly. Uh, but that's the view up towards Hill 401, which is now Hill 412. And uh, this, I think, according to the information I have, would have been the area that G Company was defending. And then later on, under pressure, they were forced to move back up towards the Aversbeck there.